Hi, I'm Michael Heisey. I'm a spinal surgeon at the Texas Back Institute. Uh, I've been asked to discuss what happened with Peyton Manning and from all reports it sounds like Peyton had a herniated disc in his cervical spine which is a very common problem that people of all ages encounter. In his case it sounds like it was tried to be treated with a foraminotomy which is an operation where you go from the back and decompress the nerve and it sounds like that did not adequately decompress his problem. That is, at the end of his, his therapy, he continued to have weakness in his arm, his throwing arm. And with that, he needed to undergo a second procedure. This procedure, and again, this is by reports and rumors, sounds like an anterior cervical fusion at the C6-7 level. And that operation, what you do is you open up the disc, remove it, and get back, and you can really fully decompress that nerve. In the process, you distract the disc space, you put a bone graft into the disc space, and then oftentimes a plate will go on the front. That operation does very well. It's a very successful operation. It does, though, require some time to heal. The bone has to fully incorporate. And with that, once the bone is fully incorporated, Peyton will be able to return back to full and unrestricted activities, including being hit by offensive linemen knocked into him and defensive linemen trying to hurt him. Um, in the meantime, though, if you were to try and get active too early, this uh, fusion could go on to not heal. And if that were to happen, it could be a career-threatening uh, problem because it would require a second surgery from behind to try and get that to heal. His best chance, then, is to get this to heal the first time, which usually takes about three months. It's likely that Peyton is receiving all of the advanced treatments, including the latest bone grafts, electrical stimulation to get the bones to heal, electrical stimulation to get his muscle to heal. So he may heal a little quicker than that, but three months is really an early timeline for him. It would not be unexpected for him to miss the bulk of the season and even through the playoffs.